Coach Bill Conley joins us for a few minutes on the live line. Uh, Coach, I know you were over in Indy, uh, watched the game with your own two eyes. At any point in that first half, were you nervous that the Buckeyes weren't going to be able to get her done? No, I wasn't nervous at all. <laughs> Heck yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, you know, when when they scored for when Wisconsin scored first, just like the Michigan game, I thought, okay, I'm not too worried. But when they, I forget what it was like, thirty thirty five seconds, they ran down the field and scored it, made it twenty one to seven. That was when I swallowed real hard and went, ooh, we're going to have to buckle down for the second half. Absolutely, you know, the crowd was about eighty percent Ohio State about 20% Wisconsin, but it was the Wisconsin people were making a lot of noise, but the second half, what a turnaround. What is that? What do you attribute that to, uh, Bill? Halftime adjustments, just waking up. What uh, what changed to have Ohio State have that 27 to nothing blitzkrieg in the second half? Well, I do think a lot of it was adjustments by the coaching staff. I'll tell you, these guys are amazing. These coaches, all season long, if the other team's doing something, they get it corrected. And they changed coverages a little bit, able to bring some more pressure different ways on uh, their offense. And, uh, you know, our defense really stepped it up. And then, of course, I think Justin, once he got into the flow of the game, got better and better as the game went on because, you know, he didn't take a lot of uh, full snaps during practice last week because of of his dinged-up knee there. And uh, it takes a while to get your touch back and and confidence and all that stuff. But, man, once he, he turned it on, the Buckeyes could not be stopped. You know, Joel and I were talking, as good as he was, and uh, he was the MVP of the game, I really felt like J.K. Dobbins was going to be the MVP of the game. He wasn't. Justin and Chase Young going to the Heisman uh, uh, ceremonies on Saturday. J.K. Dobbins won't be. He always seems to be that overlooked guy, Bill, but I don't know. You could, you could argue that he's the most important guy, uh, you know, 172 yards in that game, and really where the offense kind of went to when things were going awry, he was the steady influence throughout that game. Absolutely. I mean, he's a guy that he's got so much better. He's carried his football team, rushing the football. That's why we're so good. We're a well-balanced team. And I'll tell you another guy that I thought uh, could have been in there for an MVP in that game was K.J. Hill. No doubt. His very best game as a senior. Yep, two touchdown receptions and went over and broke uh, David Boston's career reception record. Yeah, he was great, too. That's pretty nice, Joel, when you have that many guys that can uh, contribute. You got that right. We're talking to Bill Conley, best Buckeye coverage here on 610 WTVN. Bill, so, you know, we've from time to time this season talked about adversity, and, you know, the Buckeyes haven't had a whole lot of it, but a little bit more there than maybe they faced that uh, second half against Wisconsin. So do you feel like coaches will be able to take that and turn that into more positives as they uh, roll toward that matchup with Clemson? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at the last part of the schedule. Who have played a more uh, physical uh, end-of-the-year schedule than the Buckeyes? I mean, the teams, they, you know, Penn State, Wisconsin twice, Michigan – and uh, that's something the other teams have not done. I think that experience, and I think this, I got to say this, I think they got a little chip on their shoulder going into this game. I don't think they were very happy the way the final rankings came out. It really doesn't matter as long as you make one of the top four. But uh, I think they're going to be extremely focused. I, I got a question, Bill. Do you think Ohio State's going to actually get on the plane to go to uh, Arizona? Because every analyst I see says Clemson's going to uh, walk over them. It, it's unbelievable. Uh, watching it on ESPN. You, you talk about having a chip on your shoulder. My gosh, all you have to do is just watch ESPN the last couple of days. And uh, Clemson, Clemson's the team. They're the team. And I get it, 28 wins in a row. But I got a lot of questions about them. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I, I don't have questions about their talent. They are loaded, and it's going to be a challenge. And they might beat Ohio State, Bill, but they have not faced anything like they're going to face in Ohio State on December 28th, I think the Buckeyes have a great chance. Oh, I do too. You know, this reminds me so much, Matt, if we went and won the national championship and beat Miami, uh, nobody gave us a chance at all. And, man, our our players, they were fired up, and they were not going to be denied. I think the same thing. And you look at Ohio State team, we've got six teams in the final 25 at this point, man, the rankings, six Big Ten teams. That conference, the ACC, has two. And Virginia's the only other one they're winning. And, and Virginia, I'll be honest with you, Bill, Virginia shouldn't be in there. Yeah. I really, honestly, I think they're in there just to, hey, well, let's have another ACC team in there. <laughs> I mean, Virginia I to me is Indiana. Uh, if you played Indiana yeah. and Virginia, it'd be a hell of a game. But 
okay teams, but no, no yeah. business being in the top 25. Right on. Oh, I agree with you 100%. I could guarantee you this. Clemson has not seen a defense like ours. I mean, you can watch film, but until you get out there on the field and see them in person and go against them, you realize how talented we are. Talent is what it's about. Bill, you've got it, and we appreciate it much. Bill Conley, talking Buckeyes here with Matt McCoy, and yours truly on News Radio 610 WTVN. 